know who John is, and so what do you know about him? I know who John is. Uh, I don't know much about him. He's kind of an enigma. I do know who John is. Actually, yes, I do know who John is. John. <laughs> I, I do, in fact, know who John is, yes. There's a lot to know about John. I have heard of John, but I've never actually seen him before. <laughs> I still have no idea who John is. <laughs> uh, my name is John Correa, and I'm co-president of the Climbing Club. Generally, my job is to just keep the institutional knowledge going from one semester to the next. We started out, you know, just doing the climbing thing. And one of the big things in climbing is when you're going to try and go for it, you're going to send it. You're going for the top. I've been a part of Friendsgiving before, and the climbing community is like a bunch of friends, just friends all around. Even people that you just met five minutes ago, that's one of the great things about climbing is they're your next best friend. So we thought, oh, let's do a Sense Giving. So we started it. We maybe had 30 people that first year, and then it's just grown ever since then. It looks like this year we'll probably have close to 150 people at this particular event. And uh, yeah, we just try to make it bigger and better every time. The setup of Sen's Giving is, is like a beacon of hope in the middle of a desolate wasteland. You drive through a lake bed and then all of a sudden you see like a giant tent city that our gracious John builds. It's kind of as if we were pilgrims traveling across the desert and you just stumble upon this oasis of all your best friends. It's kind of like Burning Man, but not. <laughs> but like SDSU Climbing Club wise, <laughs> yeah. The planning generally begins the day after the previous Thanksgiving. There's generally about four or five people that come together, shop in the different places where we need to get stuff, pick those things up, then it all comes together. I pick it up, haul it up here. My first Thanksgiving, I came a day early, so I was there for the setup. I met John. The dude is insane. Of course, to make all that happen, we have to have the giant tent. We have to have power, so I bring up uh, lots of generators for power. We have refrigeration. I, I can't even describe him. Name a job and John does it. You know, you need lighting. You need to make it visible for people to be able to see on a dry lake bed. At, at night, it is pitch black. The amount of work that goes into that setup that no one sees is mind blowing. And so we want people to know this is a place to come to have fun. If you guys are outside, come into the tent. We got some talking and some speeches. Okay, um, welcome to our, I don't know how many if, annual Sens Giving from the San Diego State University Rock Climbing Club of 2022. I just wanted to take some time to thank some key players. There's a lot that goes behind the scenes, a lot that goes into today and all the trips and everything. Our first shout out is to John! Why do I kind of do this? And I would have to say that it's a give back kind of a thing. I'm a lifelong learner. I have enjoyed college ever since the first day that I stepped foot into a college. I just feel grateful for having had the experience of college and to continue to have the experience of college. I'm still in college even today. It gives me the chance to kind of have the community around me, which helps me stay very active and lead an exciting life. Having these kinds of activities kind of just helps ensure that I am getting out and enjoying my life and the world around me. Okay.
The Climbing Club is an awesome group within society. Any group, whether it's activity-centric or climbing-centric or anything that allows you to connect with like-minded people is essential. Nothing is better than being obsessed with a sport and getting to talk to people about it. It's just really nice to be able to depend on not one person, but like an entire group of people. Having all the homies show up, inviting everyone you love and everyone you care about and be like, hey, let's go have a good time on the lake bed. Without John, it's, it's not the same. When you come to Joshua Tree and it's not Sensgiving, it's still fun, but it's not Sensgiving. He just loves people. He loves bringing people together and he does a great job at that. I feel very grateful for the network of people that I meet here. And as I see them grow and become uh, amazing professionals, amazing adults, it has really just inspired me to continue to do more and more and more. And that's probably why I do it.